Sir George Paget Thompson, FRS, the 3rd of May 1892 to the 10th of September 1975, was an English physicist and Nobel laureate in physics recognized for his discovery of the wave properties of the electron by electron diffraction. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education and early life. Thomson was born in Cambridge, England, the son of physicist and Nobel laureate J. J. Thomson and Rose Elizabeth Paget, daughter of George Edward Paget. Thomson went to the Peirce School, Cambridge before going on to read mathematics and physics at Trinity College, Cambridge, until the outbreak of World War I in 1914, when he was commissioned into the Queen's Royal West Surrey Regiment. After brief service in France, he worked on aerodynamics at Farnborough and elsewhere. He resigned his commission as a captain in 1920. <inaudible> <inaudible> career After briefly serving in the First World War Thompson became a fellow at Cambridge and then moved to the University of Aberdeen. George Thompson was jointly awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1937 for his work in Aberdeen in discovering the wave-like properties of the electron. The prize was shared with Clinton Joseph Davison who had made the same discovery independently. Whereas his father had seen the electron as a particle and won his Nobel Prize in the process, Thomson demonstrated that it could be diffracted like a wave, a discovery proving the principle of wave-particle duality which had first been posited by Louis Victor de Broglie in the 1920s is what is often dubbed the de Broglie hypothesis. Between 1929–1930 Thomson was a non-resident lecturer at Cornell University, Ithaca, New York. In 1930 he was appointed professor at Imperial College London in the chair of the late Hugh Longbourn calendar. In the late 1930s and during the Second World War Thomson specialized in nuclear physics, concentrating on practical military applications. In particular Thomson was the chairman of the Crucial Mod Committee in 1940–1941 that concluded that an atomic bomb was feasible. In later life he continued this work on nuclear energy but also wrote works on aerodynamics and the value of science in society. Thomson stayed at Imperial College until 1952, when he became Master of Corpus Christi College, Cambridge. In 1964, the college honored his tenure with the George Thomson Building, a work of modernist architecture on the college's Lakehampton campus. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and Honors. In addition to winning the Nobel Prize in Physics, Thomson was knighted in 1943. He gave the address, Two Aspects of Science as president of the British Association for 1959-1960. Personal life In 1924, Thomson married Kathleen Buchanan Smith, daughter of the very Rev. Sir George Adams Smith. They had four children, two sons and two daughters. Kathleen died in 1941. Thomson died in 1975 and is buried with his wife in Granchester Parish Churchyard. One son, Sir John Thomson, diplomat, GCMG, 1927 to 2018, became a senior diplomat who served as High Commissioner to India, 1977 to 82, and permanent representative to the United Nations, 1982 to 87, and his grandson Sir Adam Thomson, diplomat, KCMG, 1955 present, also became a senior diplomat, serving as High Commissioner to Pakistan, 2010 to 2013, and as permanent representative to NATO, 2014 to 2016. Topic References. Topic External Links. Annotated bibliography for George Paget Thompson from the Alsos Digital Library for Nuclear Issues. George Thompson Portraits at the National Portrait Gallery. George Thompson Biography at Wageningen University.